Hey guys, it's Dina here. Sorry it's been just a little while since I have put a video up, but um, I did get a few items at the drugstore today that I wanted to share with you um, so you could kind of get an idea of some of the products that have been released from the Fergie collection from Wet n Wild. Uh, they did have the full display at my CVS and um, these were just the, the three items that I picked up from the collection so far. Um, they have lipsticks, they have mascara, eye primer, um, I'm trying to think of what else I saw that they had. Um, several, several different lipsticks, nail polishes, um, I think there was four of the quads, there was three of the highlighter, bronzer, blushes type things like that. So. Um, this is just the three items that I picked up, so I'm just going to show them to you very quickly and give you some swatches. So, um, this is the first one here. This is the um, packaging here. It's kind of sleek looking, um, and it does say new on the front. Wet n Wild Fergie, and sorry for my nails. I've been picking at them. I need to repaint them. Um, this is the Center Stage Collection, and this is the Photo Op Eyeshadow, and this one is in the color Desert Festival. I don't know if you can see that down here, Desert Festival. So um, it just consists, I'm just going to move these down, it just consists of four shades in the palette. There's a matte palette, or matte shade in the center, and then there are, um, looks to be like maybe a few glitters and maybe a satin. And it does come with a dual ended applicator. And this is not a sponge tip, this is one of the latex ones that I love. So um, if you get these in your palettes, hang on to them, guys, because they really, really do work well with shadows. And they also work awesome with the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows, those 24-hour eyeshadows. I absolutely love them um, to use with those. So uh, just for reference. All right, so I'm just going to slap on a primer really quickly because I did not do that prior to starting the video. I'm just going to use my trusty Essence I Heart Stage. Um, if you haven't ever seen it, this is what it looks like here. I picked mine up at Ulta for $2.99. I'm pretty sure it was. And um, let's just get to this swatch here and see how it goes. I'm actually going to do one more thing. I could have been a little bit more prepared, and I do apologize. I'm just going to get me a little makeup remover wipe so I can wipe my hands off when I'm done swatching. Okay, so here are the colors. The first one here is a... Um, shimmery champagne color here. Uh, it's kind of like a champagne beige. Um, it feels very soft, not crumbly or powdery. Um, it's not the most pigmented shade that I have ever seen. Um, it is fairly light. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but that is, yeah, that's about how it looks right there on the skin. It's kind of like a light, very, very light tan color kind of shivery so that would be a I guess you could use that well for all over the lid um, this next shade down here is a golden kind of orange so uh, these are actually not as pigmented pigmented as I thought they would be so this is the color here and here it is swatched on my hand and that one doesn't have bad pigmentation so that one has a shimmer. All right, the next one here is this, um, kind of looks like a orangey, kind of like a, yeah, I would say like, kind of like, like a terracotta, but not as dark as a terracotta. Um, it is definitely orange. There's this watch there on my hand, or my finger. Oh yeah, that one's nice and pigmented. A little patchy on the swatch there. You can kind of see it's dark up here and dark over here, but it's kind of a little patchy there. So that would be one to build, and I'll actually do that for you just so you can kind of see the true color of it. Um, yeah, that's a great color, actually. So they're not, uh, you know, over the moon, jumping up and down type of colors. Um, this is their brown that they usually put in all their palettes. Um, it's the brown, dark brown with the... Um, golden flecks in it, but this one is not as soft as the um, ones that usually come in the palettes. Actually, this one is, I think, actually nicer because it doesn't um, fall out all over the place. It's, it's one that can be built up. Um, it's not extremely, extremely pigmented um, as far as, you know, just the first initial swatch, but I think this will be one that you would have to build up. So there it is there. 
And it does have glitter in that, just for reference. Okay, the last shade here is going to be this matte brown that's in the center. And it's just got the Fergie initial or symbol or whatever you want to call it in there. Oh, that's a bit, that almost feels, look, can you see that powder just all wadded up? And look at it on my hand. I mean, it's literally, it crumbled. Oh, I wish you could see that better, but it crumbled underneath my hand, so that one's going to be one that's, look at that, that's all the, just the crumbly powder. Um, that one's going to be one you're going to really have to watch as far as uh, dusting your brush off, but it is very, very pigmented. That was one pretty heavy swatch, but it's very pigmented. It's, it's like a concrete brown. I know it's looking more black, but it is definitely brown. So those are the four colors there. That is the Desert Festival palette from Wet n Wild's new Fergie collection. And then I also got two of their um, shimmer palettes, they're called. They're, I would say these are quite similar to what the MAC um, MSFs are or the Laura Geller um, Blush and Brighten type things. Um, this is the first one here. Um, it's actually looking a little bit lighter. That That is more true to color. It's, it's like a peachy, right here, like a peachy color. And then it's got a dark, more like a, a bronzer shade running through it. This one is in the color Rose Golden Goddess. So that's probably right there. It's more like a peachy, yeah, a peachy orange and then the gold. So let's see how these swatch. Whoa, that's like metallic. I don't see myself using that on my cheeks, but it would be a cool eyeshadow. Look at that. I could not even imagine using that on my cheeks. That is some straight up metallic shape and it's gorgeous. It's, it's actually quite gorgeous. Um, I did look at a couple of them, and they did have um, different veining in some of them. So some of them had a lot more of the brown, some of them had a lot more of the orange. So you might want to take that in consideration. The second one that I got was um, this one here, and it is called um, Rose Champagne Glow. Colors are right here on the bottom. And this is, just says to reflect shimmer palette, so okie dokie. This one is a um, kind of pale baby pink with a little bit of, um, I would say, like a mm, rosy colored pink and then a bubblegum pink running through it. So you can kind of see the different veining. Um, I love the way this looks in the palette. I'm not sure. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that's definitely some serious metallic shine there. So it's really pretty. But I just couldn't imagine wearing that on my cheeks. Maybe as a very faint highlight, but hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's some serious metallic right there, people. All right, so those are the three items that I picked up from the Center Stage Collection from Wet n Wild for Fergie. So um, the display had a dollar off coupon for um, any of that new product. So you, I ordered. I ordered. I picked up three items. I was able to use three dollar off coupons. These were five ninety nine. I believe the eyeshadows were four ninety nine, um, or something similar to that. So um, yeah, just wanted to show you these just so you could kind of see how they look with an initial reaction. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.